Well, hi again, Pirate fans, and welcome into Mugshots for the Pearl Pirate Football Coaches Show. I'm Greg Flynn, joined just off the practice field by our head ball coach, Justin Hunter, and you're smiling. You said it was a, uh, a fun day of practice oh, yeah. today. It was. Went, went a lot of scrimmage, uh, one-on-ones, you know, with our one defense, our one offense. Got a lot of really good reps. Uh, filmed it all, you know, good on good. You know, a lot of times during the season, you don't get a lot of good on good because, you know, your, your second defense is running your opponent's defense. Your second offense is running your opponent's offense. So today, you know, our whole thing was let's get better at us, and then tomorrow we'll start moving on to Warren Central. You know, it was a little unorthodox, but uh, just felt like that's where we, where we was and what we needed. Uh, we tackled to the ground. We blocked to the ground. Everything was live like it was on a Friday night. But uh, they had a lot of fun. They competed their tails off, uh, and I think we got better. What's fun for the kids, though, you're halfway through the region season now, okay? Right. You, the four games you have left, everything is still in front of this oh, yeah. team. I mean, if they, if they can run the gauntlet here right. and come out of that thing, you know, three and one perhaps, right. holy mackerel, we're right back where you need to be. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, like we talked about today, today was about us. Tomorrow will be about Warren Central. And the rest of the week is going to be, how do we beat Warren Central? Like, what do we have to do as an individual and as a team to beat Warren Central? Like, our motto, motto this year is do your part. You know, we talked about different, like, my part is different than somebody else's part. The left guard's part is different than a backup offensive uh, skill position's part. You know, so just identifying and defining that for each person on the team. You know, yeah, I'm not going to play on a Friday night, but what is my part? How, how does my part play and help this team be successful. Maybe I need to be a good teammate. Maybe I need to be a hype guy. Maybe I need to do this. Maybe I need to do that. Uh, so just made it really clear. Some of those guys that maybe are young that are not getting to play or something like that, as well as those guys are getting to play. Like, what is your part? What part do you play in this team being successful? Like, how can you go out there today in practice and help us be successful Friday night against Warren Central? So we, we talked and harped a lot about that today again, which goes back to why we were so much ones on ones today. Just like you had said, just trying to get a little better. That's our goal from the get-go. Well, and it's one of those things. I know we talk about this a lot, and they, a lot of people call it always oh, coach speak, but quite literally we come off another game where it's like we're one or two plays. One or two plays defined that football yeah. game, right? And it's always like that. You know, you can go back to any game we've played this year, and, and we show the team this. Like, we put clips like these 10 or 12 plays change the whole outcome of the game. Whether you win or lose, like, and you don't never know when those plays are coming. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I mean, in my head right now, it's four different plays probably in the game from Friday night. I mean, if it goes one way, it's a big difference. If it goes the other way, it's a big difference. You know, so I mean, and you never know, which is why we tell them, you have to play every play to the best of your ability because you do not know when that play is going to happen. Yep. And just, we've been on the wrong end of those plays sometimes, <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, all, all we can do is keep fighting, you know, keep fighting, keep fighting, keep fighting, um, you know, just keep playing the best of your ability and try to, try to limit our mistakes. You know, I think that's what's kind of, killing us right now just we make a mistake it's a big mistake you know it just is and, and we've we've had trouble recovering from them here lately well the tide will turn it has to turn it's at some point favor has to shine right. on everybody right. and That's we're right. just getting them all out of the way early the harder you work the luckier you get what i've always been told so we're working hard <laughs> well let's take a look frank if we can roll some of the uh the highlights that we had terry at pearl and there were a lot of good things here, especially the secondary really is, is growing, and you could see the nice coverage that they had last. That's Antonio McFarlane, uh, one of our 10th graders. Um, does a really, really good job. He is getting better daily. Uh, this is one of our guests tonight, Omarius Johnson, a long 10th grader. We are super excited about him, uh, how physical he is, how long he is. Man, he loves football and loves contact. And the resurgence of the senior big dog, Jamarion Man, Turner. Super, super proud of, of, of big dog, uh, bootstrap, whatever nickname you want to have for him. <laughs> uh, and he's just playing really, really well. Glad to get Justice back. Still not 100%, but he, he's getting there. Another hard run right there by what Big I'm, Dog. What I'm impressed with, Big Dog just, he doesn't go down on contact. I mean, he's fighting. He's not the biggest guy, but this is one of those. He just won't go down. That's right. That's right, man. Just just been really, i tell you what, been impressed with him at practice, man. He, he, he practices the way he plays, and he hadn't always done that. But I've been really, really impressed with how hard he's been practicing. And then he needs a breath, and we got T.J. McKenzie comes in, does the same thing. Uh, you know, good job there. And, hey, Colston Bennett, he's right back. Nice hey, man, my confidence never, waver, never wavers in Colston. Uh, Colston, again, comes to work every day, trying to get better at kicking the football, trying to get his legs stronger. Super, super excited about having him for another couple of years. And our defense, again, you know, we just have – that's the one – we've been so solid, and this is a great string-out play here. It's a great here. job by Marcus Thompson right there. 
Jamion getting to the ball, Amari is getting to the ball from the corner position. Here's a little bit of the growth of Durr. It is. But you notice that their linebacker knocks, knocks Kenji down, who's his primary target right there. Third down, a huge, huge play in the ball game. Uh, gets us a new set of downs with his legs. And then moves it along again. I mean, just quick throw and Justice Moore being back, like you said. Yeah, just, Justice has got great hands, a really, really good athlete. Now Jack's going to come close here, and he's going to get it down to the one, and oh, did we need to get it in because we weren't able to punch it in after that. That's right. Uh, but, you know, Jack is really, really doing well. Hey, the defense shined again. We had another bad play. They were backed up to the goal line and again almost came up with a four, four down stand. That was got, first got down. Got them all the way to fourth down right here, man. Just just really, really bent our backs right there. And, and you know, it's, it's so hard to keep a team out of the end zone at any point in time, much less inside the one yard line with three tri tries. But we darn near did it. Man, I mean, I, you know. I'm still not sure without the push on this next play that he even gets in. Because well, it took know, the referees a while. Watch his knee. I mean, what you can't do it about now. Watch his knee right there. Down. You know, and, and that's tough on an official. But still, man, I, I was super that, – that's, that's how we're supposed to fight. <laughs> you know, and I, I thought we showed a lot of fight right there. I mean, they couldn't even decide if he was in or not, you know. But, you know, but, good job by them right there capitalizing on one of our uh, big mistakes. Trey Schaefer, I mean, he has just been great ever since coming Trey, into that Trey, I think it has led us in tackles the last three or four weeks. I think he had 14 the other night um, playing really, really, really good football. Well, we're going to have some more big dogs here. I mean, he closed in on the 100-yard mark again. Good, good job by Reed Grantham right there. Reed uh, takes – he really blocks two for one right there. Uh, Reed, Reed got a – he made the all-star team. That was announced last week, and, man, he – Played really, really well the other night, and Reed plays well every week. He's he's just a dirty, dirty offensive lineman that just gets the job done every week. Comes to work every single day. Does a really good job. And for a young freshman, boy, Durs is not scared to take a licking, and he puts his head down and gets us a touchdown. That was big for us. Right after half, we told him, "Hey, this is the biggest drive of the year right here," because it was. You know, we just we kind of stalled out a couple times, and we needed a good drive. Caleb Arterbury right there. Another kid we are extremely excited about. You know, the, the final score certainly didn't indicate it, but again, we played so, so well, and it was just those couple of plays, like getting down to the one-yard line, for those of you that were there or watched the broadcast, getting down to the one-yard line and just being right there. You know, we, we got down the one, you know, and we actually, well, we got like to the one and a half, and then they lined up in the neutral zone, so we got... Half the distance, we we got in a jumbo personnel. It was actually putting Ken Mangum at running back, which we've been practicing uh, with Jabron and, and Cam Hewitt. So we had all three of our starting defensive linemen in there in a jumbo set. And we were just going to snap the ball and run back behind the big boys. And it parted like the Red Sea. Uh, just one of those big, big issues we had. <laughs> the, the snap sailed over our head, and, and Jack went and jumped on it. And now, instead of possibly scoring, if not second goal from the one, you know, now we're second goal from the 21. Yeah. Uh, obviously, that's a big, you know, big difference. We end up having to settle for a field goal, a little bit out of range. Um, it was about two yards short. So that, that's, a, that's a huge swing. And then, you know, a little later, uh, we have to punt the ball and, and we have a mishap on a snap. And Which led to that goal yeah, line stand. Now they get it saw. on the – now they're first and goal from yeah. the five, you know. And it, it just – again, a couple of plays really, really, really turned the tide in the ball game. Um, you know, and it just didn't go our way. And, um, you know – what do you do about that? You come to work and on work a Monday, harder. on a day you're not at school, and you come there and you watch film, you try to fix your mistakes, you lift weights, try to prevent injuries, uh, and you go out there and, and you practice for two hours. And that's what we did, and, and the kids responded really well. The two kids that uh, are here with us tonight, or today, this afternoon, whatever you want to call it, uh, are two kids that competed their butts off Friday night, and they competed their butts off at practice today. And uh, that's what we're trying to get our kids to understand is you have to come every single day ready to get better. I mean, that's, that's our ultimate goal is to get better every single day. And uh, I think we did that today. Well, we'll let you take a quick break. Enjoy some of this great mugshots that's food right. here. That's right. And we will bring up our player segment. Stay with us. We will continue with the Coaches Show right after this. When pirates need a feast, they sail to Mugshots Grill and Bar. Voted best burger in Mississippi for 13 years in a row, Mugshots proudly serves fresh, never frozen certified Angus beef. X marks a spot at two locations on the map, in Pearl and Riverwind Drive in the movie theater parking lot, and in Flowood on the corner of Airport Road and Lakeland Drive. 
You can dine in, take out, or order online and pick up curbside. Check out MugshotsGrillAndBar.com. Come smile with Sky. Sky Family Dental of Pearl provides complete dental care for the entire family. Oral exams, cleanings, dentures, implants. Most insurance is accepted and financing is available. Call now to schedule your appointment. Come smile with Sky. Leave it up to us at Mississippi Arkansas Ag for your John Deere All Star package. The 3025E tractor plus loader, box blade, rotary cutter, and a trailer at just $349 per month. Visit agup.com for more information. I'll take one of those shovels. Oh, those shovels are lease only. But I just want to dig a hole. Well, I can sell you the sweet, sporty, compact model for cash. You wouldn't put up with this at a hardware store. Don't put up with it when you buy a car. So come to Rogers Dab Chevrolet. It's easier here. Welcome back into Moke Shots for the Pearl Pirate Football Coaches Show. I'm Greg Flynn, and it is now time for the players segment. And it is a fun one for us as we have Justice League, Justice Moore here, our senior wide receiver slash defensive back, and a guy that is just blasted on the scene. You guys have watched him get better every single week. Omarius Johnson, one of our great cornerbacks, and well, welcome in, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. The coach tells me how fun practice was today as you guys went number ones versus number ones offense and defense, which you don't usually do, right? Uh, no, sir. Not as much like, as we did in the past. But today, he told us when we first walked in, he gave us uh, pants, and usually we get game pants during the practice. You know what time it is. So. <laughs> it, was, it was fun. It's a uh, fun day for the offense. For sure. Well, Maurice, was it fun for you guys on defense? It's always it's always great to go, go against the ones, have competition for real, you know. Uh, prep for the Friday nights, you know, because they're always going to keep going and going. You know, it's really, I mean, I say it's, it's good for the defense. You know, you got to keep your patience, you know, watch on sides all day, be game ready. So it, there's just some stuff you can't simulate going against the twos on, you know, from a Friday night with an yeah. offense that you're trying to face, right? Yes, sir. So it helps when you, uh, and we have some pretty good receivers to, to test you too, right? Yes, sir, you're right. Did you cover this guy today? Um, not, not, not as much as I needed to. <laughs> um, well, what, is, what has it been like for you, Justice, you know, you've had to play a lot of both sides of the football. You fought off a high ankle sprain, which I hear that is one of the most painful things that you can have. Is that, is that true? Yes, it is. Yeah. What is it like having a high ankle sprain? Uh, it's like having a toothache. It, it just don't go away, you know. Really, the best thing to do is time. Time it heals it off, but in uh, therapy, I've been going through a lot of therapy during before practice, so that really helps it a lot, you know. But it's still there. I haven't got to fight through it. You know. Well, you could tell that you were feeling okay on those quick slants, post patterns that you were running on Friday night, breaking away from there. So you're looking really, really good doing that. Hey. Do you miss playing defense as much? I actually, yes, I do. You know, uh, defense is where I started off at, so it's like home when I go back. I just I know everything, so it's kind of hard just watching what I used to do and I can't do it no more. So I'm, I miss playing with the guys out there on defense. Well, Amaris, you've done a great job considering they seem to put the best wide receiver on your side, and I don't know that the opponents do, and I don't, I don't understand that, but uh, it's been, it's been a learning process for you, hadn't it? It, it has, it has. Um, I've always, I've always fought against them, you know. Any time, any, any time, any time we play a great team, he says I'm on this man, and I'm gonna do the best I can. Tell me what it's like as you line up out there. What are you thinking as you're trying to cover, you know, another receiver that may be six foot, six two, six three? You know, what's in your mind as you're before the snap? Before the snap, I say it's time to lock in. You know, um, I'm gonna do the best I can in this play. If I do anything wrong, I'm gonna move on. This is how it is. Stay locked in. I don't, I don't want to interrupt the tempo we got going on defense. So. I'm gonna just do the best I can. We showed a one play the other that you had Friday night where you were step for step with OJ Marshall down the right sideline, and you just had him smothered. I mean, does that feel good when you know that it does, man, it he does. ain't got any space? It feels great. It feels great. <laughs> and I'm doing my part. You know, everybody else. I just gotta make that catch. Justice, as one of the older guys now, as we have four games left in the region uh, schedule, what are you trying to leadership-wise get these guys to understand? I don't know uh, how important it is to win region games. You know, be like 
he had preseason, preseason games. He wasn't really all that, but now he's is where it counts. So it's time to lock in. Like all that playing stuff, we, it's, I gotta go. Because uh, from experience, uh, my team grades it was in the same predicament. And we made the playoffs though, because we, we focused. We started locking in at practice, so that's what we gotta do now. Well, I look forward to you guys showing out against Warren Central on Friday night. Let's go hunt some Vikings. How about that? Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Justice Moore, Omarius Johnson, excellent job, gentlemen. You guys can go get your food. Hang on, hang on one second. Mm-hmm. They're so hungry. They want to go eat. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in our assistant coach's corner here at Mugshots right after this. When pirates need a feast, they sail to Mugshots Grill and Bar. Voted best burger in Mississippi for 13 years in a row, Mugshots proudly serves fresh, never frozen certified Angus beef. X marks a spot at two locations on the map in Pearl and Riverwind Drive in the movie theater parking lot, and in Flowood on the corner of Airport Road and Lakeland Drive. You can dine in, take out, or order online and pick up curbside. Check out MugshotsGrillandBar.com. At Bob Boyd Honda, we pride ourselves in getting our customers the best deals around. Usually that means when we're selling cars, but right now... Bob Boyd is in the market to buy! We are offering top dollar for pre on autos, trucks, and SUVs. Come by, talk to our dedicated team, and discover what a great time it is for Bob Boyd to buy back your used vehicle. Any make, any model. Whether you're selling or buying, at Bob Boyd Honda, you get a deal. deal. Shop, stay, dine, and play at The Connection, Mississippi's retail entertainment destination. Located at the intersection of I-20 and I-55 in Pearl. When you're ready to make a move in pirate country, contact Penny Pitts with Havard Real Estate Group in Pearl. Penny is a multi-million dollar producer and loves to help her clients find the home of their dreams. If you are a first-time home buyer or ready to upsize or downsize, she is the agent for you. Penny is a Pearl High School graduate and an avid supporter of Pirate Athletics. Make your move with the home team. That's Penny Pitts, Havard Real Estate Group. Welcome back into Mug Shots. We continue here on the Pearl Pirate Football Coaches Show. I'm Greg Flynn, now joined in the assistance corner by the man that runs the running backs. He is Connor Breland, and you have had really quite a good run, no pun intended, quite a good run so far with your guys. (laughs) So far, they're doing they're doing their part. They're working hard, and they keep getting better. So, anxious to see how the last four weeks go. Are you a little surprised that coming into the season, I knew we all were going to have a good passing game because we all talked about Jack Durr and the great receivers that we had. But when we looked at the running backs, you're like, okay, well, you got T.J. McKenzie, you got Jamarion Turner, and you got this new guy Ben Alexander, and you're kind of like, all right, but it's become the strength of our team. Right, right. There's men, like I said, they're working they're working their tails off and. We're getting the most out of Big Dog is Big Dog's willing to give us, man. He's working his tail off, and uh, he's doing real, real well, and he's reading blocks real well, and he's playing his butt off. He's playing, he's practicing as hard as he's playing right now, so that's why he's having success. And with the other two, man, they keep getting better. Ben keeps getting better. TJ keeps getting better, and uh, we're just anxious to see how this thing finishes up. Boy, it's a good feeling when it's short yardage, and you say, all right, number three, TJ, yeah, get is, on in is. there. He's kind of our big body back, man. He, he you know what you're going to get with him. He's going to run it hard and just get what we can get with him. Well, it's great seeing a guy like Ben Alexander, too, who's so young and yeah. so raw talent that you're really trying to bring him along slowly. Right. He uh, he started out real good. Uh, we thought we were going to be able to depend on him a little more, but he's getting better. He's just he's coming from a different school, kind of hard to understand. He's kind of getting adapted to what we want him to do. and But... Man, he, he's got his – the ceiling's real high with him. He could be really, really good. I feel like he can be really, really good for us. Well, I know Coach said today was a very spirited practice. It, it is one of those where now there is no room for error. Mm-hmm. we got to run the gauntlet of the top four That's teams right. in the region right now. Right. But the goal is still there if we can do it, right? That's right. That's right. Yep. Mathematically, we can we, – we st- everything we want still in front of us. But we got to beat four really, really good teams. So – we're we'll going to have to have more practices like we had today. Today's practice was great. I thought it was great. Our kids worked hard. They got after it. We had some big plays, had some good good production out of our offense. So if we can get that production Friday night, I think we'll 
We'll have a shot. We got a good one, shot. One of the things I love, and it, you tell me if it's more, certainly the kids, but also the coaches, is how you approach things. The kids are still very confident and still up, despite coming off, you know, a loss to Terry, right. a loss to Morton. They have bounced back with great resiliency here this season. Right. It's just, it's like one of the things we try to preach. We try to preach like positivity. Um, our kids respond a lot better when we're positive with them. Now, we do have to get on them a little bit, be a little negative, but we have a little positive reinforcement, and that tends to relate more to our kids, and they tend to take that a little more, and like positive reinforcement, they can they can bounce back from it. Like we can, we had a big win against Pedal two weeks after we had lost to Morton and Biloxi, and had a big win against one of the best teams that we've seen all year. So, there ain't no reason we can't do it Friday night. Not, no reason you can't do it against uh, Warren Central, right. and then the rest of these, uh Absolutely. Other opponents that we have coming down the line. Absolutely. Was well, it fun for you? I mean, I know that you haven't been here in Pearl all that long. You know, you're still kind of right learning right. your way through 6A yeah. here. Yeah, man, I, I've, I've enjoyed it. I think I, I love the aspect. I love every most every Friday night you go against a good a good coaching staff, so you kind of see how we match up against them and getting to see all the different players and the atmospheres. Man, it's been a definitely adjustment, but. I've enjoyed it a ton. It's been it's been a lot of fun for two years. It really has. I know we're tired of seeing six three and six four linemen that hey, are lining up no against doubt. us. That's right. Big dog does not fare well against those six three and six five <laughs> linemen for sure. Well, we thank you so much for coming yes, on. I appreciate y'all. You jump out there and enjoy some of these mug shots we got here for I'll you. I'll try. I appreciate y'all having me. All right, we'll yes, be sir. back with Coach Hunter talking a little bit about those Vikings from the River City coming up right after this. When pirates need a feast, they sail to Mugshot's Grill and Bar. Voted best burger in Mississippi for 13 years in a row, Mugshot's proudly serves fresh, never frozen certified Angus beef. X marks a spot at two locations on the map, in Pearl and Riverwind Drive in the movie theater parking lot, and in Flowood on the corner of Airport Road and Lakeland Drive. You can dine in, take out, or order online and pick up curbside. Check out mugshotsgrillandbar.com. Public service has always had a very special place in my heart, and you know, to be able to do it and be a first responder as a reserve, you know, when you're not getting paid, that's just more one of the most selfless acts you can do. I think we all have a, a responsibility to to our our towns and, and our our communities. Well, for me, it's simple. I mean, when, when you say local, that's what's most important to me. Our citizens inside this county, we all care for each other, and we do everything we can to help everybody out. I am Shane Fletcher with Farm Bureau, and we are the home team. When accidents happen, our 30 minutes or less ER service pledge can mean less waiting and faster care. The 30 minutes or less ER service pledge at Merit Health. Let's give him a Renaissance replay. Make the right call for 24-7 roadside assistance and sign up for Renaissance Rewards Extra Checking today. When something works this well. Paying bills? This site is so comprehensive. I do all my banking online. More time for coffee. You want to get others excited about it too. Yes, honey. They're very conscientious. And they're about helping us, not about a plan for our future. It's nice to know we make a difference. It was so easy. They had lots of creative ways to help me afford the loan for the cutest car I've wanted And for that a great so bank is a really important thing to have. Comprehensive, conscientious, creative, community bank like no other bank you know. Welcome back into the Coach's Show here at Mugshots. We are joined once again by Coach Hunter, fresh off of eating some of this great Mugshots food they have here. And well, we're going to whet your appetite a little bit with some Viking football, Coach. And they are very, very good. They're five and one overall, two and one in the region. Uh, their only loss uh, to Brandon, twenty-one to three, but they beat Oak Grove, forty-two forty-one, and Northwest Rankin, thirty-five twenty-eight. Yeah, coming, coming off a big win over Northwest Rankin, uh, a really good ball game that could have went either way. Kind of like we talked about earlier about the couple of plays that changed the game, and that's kind of how it went down with Northwest Rankin. Uh, doing the same stuff on defense as far as scheme that they did the last several years, uh, and always really, really good at it. They don't miss tackles. I still ain't figured out how they don't ever miss <laughs> tackles. Um, you know, offensively, uh, they got a kid that we took in the All-Star game uh, that kind of plays a little bit of everything for him. Number one, uh, you'll see him in some of these highlights, I'm sure. Uh, big wide out number nine, who's a young kid who's making a lot of plays for them. Uh, and number 11 is back from last year. Um, last name, Wright, Jackson Wright, quarterback. Um, the, the Morgan brothers, they got it in them. You know, their dad was a longtime coach, uh, Warren Central, and uh, they're kind of following his footsteps. And, man, they just – they always 
they coach the crap out of them kids. You know, I mean, they really do, and them kids play like their hair's on fire every single week. Uh, so we got our work cut out for us, but I am glad we got them at home. Uh, we got to redeem ourselves a little bit at Ray Rogers. We've always been really, really good uh, at home with the home crowd, but, uh, you know, we, we owe them a really good show in fr this Friday night uh, because we did not give them what they deserved last Friday night. Well, so. let's roll some of those highlights as you'll see Warren Central taking on Northwest Rankin last week. And, Coach, they're very versatile. They can pass the ball. They can run the ball. They, they're very 50-50. They, do. They, they try to they try to keep a lot of balance. Um, Rob's always done that, Coach Morgan. Um, they do a really good job of giving you a lot of different looks on defense. That kid right there can run, run, run. That's Eric Collins Jr. Yeah, yeah he's a he's a speedster. We got to tackle him before he gets going. This is one of those plays I told you changed the outcome of the game. Uh, you know, easy scoop and score yeah, on it, a drop. It's pretty pretty, uh, pretty easy right there. That changed the momentum from. Northwest's favor to, to Warren Central's favor. But this, he hits another gear here. I mean, goodness gracious. We don't want to see that. Get somebody in front of him. Um, I said they do a good job giving you a lot of different formations, but running the same stuff at each formation. Uh, they just try to find one. They get a lot of those tight condensed uh, splits right there. Move their running backs around. They move their tight end around a lot. Just trying to get a look where they got a little leverage on you, and then they're going to try to run you know, outside zone, buck sweep at you as many ways as they possibly can. Well, they finish it up here with one more sack. Coach, it is, uh, you know, what, what's interesting to me is as you look at their schedule as, as their games, they almost play to the level of, of competition around them because, again, you get in a shootout with Oak Grove 42-41. Northwest, they get in a high-scoring game with them 35-28. Brandon, they hang close. They kept it close 21-3. to Yeah, well, the Oak Grove game, you know, it was crazy. Like, obviously, we've watched that film and uh, – Oak Grove was throwing the ball really well against them, but Warren Central forced five turnovers, you know, and got some short fields and really, really cashed in on some on some Oak Grove mistakes, uh, which is what good teams do. And again, they, they just kept, kept Oak Grove out of the end zone when it mattered uh, late in the game and then uh, actually went for two in the win and got it. Um, just a big, big win for them. And again, just they're, they're so well coached. That's what we always go back to with them. They're so well coached, they're just so physical. And it seemed like every single year, you're like, man, they're losing a lot this year. They will be as young next year. It's just like kids, like, all of a sudden, they're seniors. They're like, well, they played JV last year. But they, they do have a good JV system. They, they play a lot of JV games. Uh, I guess it's just an area thing for them. Uh, they play a lot of kids on special teams when they're young. So, therefore, they've got a lot of experience when they get, you know, whether they're offensive or defensive player. But they do a really, really good job. And every single year, they just – they're a really physical game, and it's always a really physical game between us and them. It's always seems like a one-score game with us and them, whether it's there or here. Uh, you know, so it should be a really good matchup on Friday night. Well, I want to remind uh, all the Pirate Nation out there is that the first part of region play didn't go exactly how we wanted, but we win against Warren Central. We're back to two and two in the region with three great opportunities to show out. I mean, everybody needs to remember. I know everybody was disappointed, you know, with uh, last week's game, but. You guys were too, the players were too, but we can be right back where we need to be. Oh, yeah. Like I said, it, it's, it's all up what we do right now. This week, you know, day by day, get a little better and try to figure out what does it take to beat Warren Central. Like we're not, I couldn't even tell, well, I mean, I know our schedule, but <laughs> I don't want the kids to even know who we play after right. that. You know, uh, right. I, I want all the focus on Warren Central because they do have a really good football team. Uh, you know, but we have a huge opportunity in front of us at home. Uh, you know, big, big region game and a good way to bounce back. We need it. All right. Well, we want to see everybody out there filling Ray Rogers Stadium Friday night because the hey, the Pirates are going to hit the road two games, so we need you out there on the home stands to make sure that we beat these Warren Central Vikings. Hey, once again, folks, don't forget kickoff is going to be at seven o'clock. We're back to the seven o'clock kickoffs. That game went awfully fast last week without the heat timeouts too. We got out of there pretty darn early. I mean, it's a big, big difference. So let's have you out there. Be loud. Be proud. Seven o'clock at Ray Rogers Stadium. Until then, folks, remember. Every day is a great day to be a pirate.